everyone. I was at the store the other day and uh, they had these solar panels on sale at Canadian Tire and they were like 60% off. They're regular like 250 bucks or something and I paid I think 98 and I was told that they're actually they they're not too bad so I'll go with a, a recommendation. It's a 40 watt panel and uh, so let's uh, open this up and see what it all comes with. It comes with a few little accessories so oh what's it say? It comes with a uh, 7 amp charge controller that's good and I think it has some other things in there it's just not listed but let's check it out. Okay so these are the accessories go through here this looks like a you know a longer cord um, if I recall I think this is like six or eight feet this is the charge controller so yeah like I'm saying like I said I'm going to uh, we'll get this all hooked up I'll put a battery on I have a battery that's not probably in the greatest condition but um, I believe this is for testing if there's power going through or something but there you have it, there's the accessories. Alright. Here's the panel. In Canada our manuals are always twice as thick because they put the French in them for sure. Alright, solar panel, extension wire, charge controller, battery clamps, 12 volt battery, not included. Okay, and here's the back, so this is like a, a stand, so it sits at the correct angle when it's sitting there. There you go. Okay, so what else? That's probably all that's in the box, but let's check. Yeah, I think this is just uh, packing fluff. Yeah. Okay, I'll get uh, I'll get everything ready, and we'll hook this thing up. Check it out. Okay, so I have the panel uh, set up. It's facing the proper direction. It's kind of the sun. It's a cloudy day, but the sun is very warm. So let's just do some checking here. Brought my meter out. Um, this little test thing, this has the LED in it. What you can do is um, hook this up to the panel. Probably can't see it on camera, but it does light up. So at least, you know, electricity is getting to the cord. And let's put the meter on here. And so the panel is actually showing it's putting out 19 and a half volts. Now let's hook it up to the charge controller. Okay, there's markings on here. This side uh, you hook up to this side hooks up to the solar panel. So let's go ahead. Okay, and again, hard to see, but I see uh, all these lights are on here. One says charged, charging, and the red one is low voltage. So I will hook it up to the battery and go from there. Okay. This is the. Uh, well, I'm close by. I don't have to. Use this you'd use the extension of your battery or the panels further away. Seems to have a lot of cord. There's a lot of cord back there too. But I think I can just use this short one. That should work for now. Let's hook this up. Oh, before I hook this to the battery, I know this battery is not charged up. But let's just go ahead.
Okay, my battery is showing that focuses, I'm not sure. About 11, eh, 11.12. So yeah, it's not charged. Let's get these hooked up here. Positive. Negative. Yeah, so we should have some. All right, that's cool. Um, on the uh, charge controller, right now the yellow LED indicating charging is lit up. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. So obviously we have some power going here. Let's see if anything's happening. Okay, so I said it was. I'll show you on screen here. So it is, it's starting to, well, I don't know if it's going to hold a charge, but it is uh, taking a charge. It was at 11.2 or 3, and now it's showing 11.7, so it's in progress. The next thing I'm going to do is hook up uh, my inverter. Let me get that. Uh, hopefully this still works. I haven't used this in quite a while. It's only a 400 watt uh, power inverter, but let's go ahead hook this up. Okay, and of course in the light you can't really see, but uh, green light's on, there's power to the inverter. I'll just give this a try. So I'm just going to hook up my watch here. I mean, this would be great if you're out in the wilderness. You need to charge your watch or something. There you go. I think it's charging. Right now it says it's at 9%. Not sure if you can see that on screen, but uh, let's let it sit for a minute and see what happens. Okay, I kind of fibbed a little bit. It wasn't five minutes, it was actually an hour and a half. I decided to charge up my watch and my, cat, uh, my uh, camera battery uh, went dead. So I charged my camera also. Um, as you can see, my watch is all charged up now. Uh, the camera's charged. And as I said, this battery, you know, normally a, a car battery should be at about, uh, oh, basically almost 13 volts probably. But I know this battery, there's a reason why it's not in a car. Because, you know, I think it has a dead cell. But nonetheless, uh, the panel kept up with the power requirements. And just a little quick recap. So it comes with the, uh, you know, the little uh, tester if you don't have a meter. A little LED on there. You just hook that up to the uh, solar panel. Uh, this cord I did verify. This is, this is eight feet. The panel also has a cord which is about six feet. The charge controller right now you can see it is has the uh, yellow light on it's charging the battery um, that I don't believe that's really uh, weather resistant so not something you want to have sitting out in the rain or anything of course I mean the panels fine but uh, protect this uh, if it did have to be outside I would suggest you know putting a plastic bag on it or something so water doesn't get in it and here's the panel itself again and it is the Coleman 40 watts. Puts out about uh, two amps. Yeah, so it's 40 watts. It puts out about two amps in ideal conditions. And today, as you can see, it's fairly kind of cloudy. It's not super sunny, but it did keep up uh, with the requirements. Weren't, you know, it didn't put a huge requirement on it or 
didn't tax the system too much, but it did work. And I don't know, I guess uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to put it to use. I mean, this would be great if you had a little, if you had an RV, you just want to maintain the battery in there. So, you, you know, you can run a TV at night later on or whatever, or in your boat uh, to run your fish finder. Um, I'm going to use, I bought two panels. I'm going to use one to maintain the battery on my uh, backup sump pump. So that way, if there's an extended period, at least I can charge up my battery and keep that uh, sump pump running. But uh, there you have it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Come back for more, please. Okay, take care. Have a great day.